Yep, I know, my hunter is completely pink. We'll get that out of the way first before we start the video. It's chat's fault. I'm just repping the ladies of the community. That's all I'm doing. Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's Nightfall. Now, this week's Nightfall is the first times two rewards of this season and it's inverted spire so it's not too bad a nightfall i'm doing it on the hunter i'm doing it on a uh, golden gun as you can see i've got celestial nighthawk there i'm still using nightwatch because i didn't get a good hung jury once i do get a good hung jury i'll maybe switch to that truth teller blinding grenades outload and host a disruption break what's not to like uh i am using Kind of an OG grenade launcher in the heavy. I'm using the Interference 6. It has full core and it has clown cartridge. Obviously clown cartridge, you get the chance of a bigger magazine when you reload. And full core is it does more damage the further away you fire it. I'm coupling both of those, obviously with grenade launcher ammo finder, because I'm running two grenade launchers, and grenade launcher scavenger, but also unstoppable grenade launcher, because in this strike you've got unstoppables and barriers. Hence Nightwatch. I I'm running a bit of a charge but chargeable light build. So I've got high energy fire, as you can see on the gauntlets I had uh, a shield break charge. Now I'm using this shield crash well maker. It's the first time I've used it. It's the last mod in the splicer of the splicer mods in the splicer gauntlet. And then once I break a shield, I'll create a font of light. And I've also got the mod on that when I pick up a font of light, I get times to uh, charge for light. Breach and clear when using a grenade launcher. You mark the enemy, but you also reload any stored weapons. So me and my pink hunter are about to go in and complete this master nightfall. So it's times two rewards all week. But from Friday onwards, it's times two platinum rewards from reset on tuesday uh friday sorry so more ascendant shards exotics prisms yada yada so what we're doing is we're starting the strike over here now normally you can most of the time you can come in and you can kind of piggyback off the back of someone else i ran this first on stream if you don't if you aren't following the stream channel i will leave it in in the description you can come out and check out the streams i stream most days on on youtube for now i will be moving to twitch uh you used to be able to come in and piggyback off the back of someone else's run it doesn't seem like that's so much of a thing anymore which i i, I genuinely don't have a problem with but as you can see here now you score points here so what it seems like inverted spy is slightly different now because and i've noticed a few changes uh this being one of them that you never scored points here so they, they are starting you instead of starting you in a public area they have kind of closed this off as a nightfall area which it, I, I like it i think it's a good change it's not a big change it's not massive but the reason why i've come over to this left side i normally do it from over on the right is because the ads over to the right of where we are they will shoot from from where you are to behind you the minute you see that kind of white uh diamond uh mission marker if you like once you see that that tells you you've completed this area now i always sparrow across here and i'm gonna show you how to do it i'm gonna explain sparrow across here take this right corner and when the tip of the spiral when the tip of your spiral the front of your spiral when it's facing that right hand turn the the the, the kind of thing the 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 ledge you would take to the right. Once it's facing that right hand side, use your right bumper to boost right sharp, boost right whilst turning right. And you'll just slide right onto it and go be able to go straight up straight forward. It takes a bit of practice, but I'm sure you guys will get it. Again, normally what I would do here is just run right past these guys, but scoring points for them now. And they seem to do they used to and I don't know if you, you guys remember Again, another thing that was that is different now that wasn't different, but that, that never used to happen before, was sometimes you'd come in here, regardless of the level you were doing it at, Master, Legend, Grandmaster. The enemies would do Grandmaster damage, but they wouldn't always take Grandmaster damage. They would sometimes take Legend or Hero, depending on the Nightfall that you jumped in on the back of. Now, it doesn't matter. They, they, they take nightfall down the same level damage you're doing it at and they give the same level 
So I decided to just clear this side out. I could have, I probably could have just ran past it, but why bother? Easy enough to clear. So once I'm in the air here, I'm going to get on my sparrow. The way you do that is jump through the portal, bring up uh, uh, your menu that you would normally bring up to call your sparrow, bring it up and call the sparrow before you get halfway across and you'll land on the other side with your sparrow. You don't have to touch your sticks. Just call it, sit on the sparrow, ride it to the other side and then you can just boost down to here. And now as you can see, four champions have appeared. Three barrier, one unstoppable. Uh, sorry. Four or five barriers of five champions have appeared because there's in this area there's two unstoppables. In fact, it's six. It's six because there's two unstoppables and four barriers in this in this part right now. So the first barrier is below us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our grenade launcher, we're gonna mark him. So choose a position to mark him from. He will fire at you, pull back, move to a different position, and go and break his shield. And that way, you take very little damage. You can see that purple stuff on him. It means he's marked, right? So I'm just holding enough ammo on my scout rifle to break his shield again. I'm going to mark him again. And then I'll just finish him with the scout. That's the first barrier. There is another barrier and an unstoppable down there, but we'll, we'll take them last. So we're going to move over here. This takes us closer to where the action is. Over on this side, there's two barrier hobgoblins to the right there, the sniper variety. So, uh, they're, they're over to our right. There's an unstoppable who will just, he just, he just wants to go and play with these guys over here. So, I am marking them. Now, the, the cool thing about this, this unstoppable is, although I hit him there, and I marked him, and it was all gravy, he's too busy with the minotaur so you can do that and he won't as long as the minotaur's there you see there i'm getting hit by that other hobgoblin i had to disengage slightly while he's he's dealing with that that minotaur he will not come and try and fire at you and stuff so i put a little bit of damage on him and then I disengaged because the, these these hobgoblins are more important very easy once you mark them reaching clear is a very good mod it's it's kind of this season's, uh, I forget the name of the mod last season, where it's Sunder and Glare, that was it, Sunder and Glare. It's this season's Sunder and Glare, so it's <laughs> taboo word I suppose, but it's built for anarchy. I mean, anarchy just responds so well to it, you know, but I, I, I get it, not everybody's got anarchy, which is why I try not to run it as much as possible. Sometimes it's just too good. It's too good all the time. Uh, so now I'm going to focus on this unstoppable, this unstoppable. Very easy to take down. Once you take down these these ads, you're going to get... Now we're going to get these guys. So we're going to get these uh, minotaurs. So I'll just break the shields. You see there, once you mark them... They also take more damage from primary once you, once you mark them. So just make sure that you, the grenade actually hits. Some, my depth perception wasn't so great to start with. But once I once, once kind of changed it up a little bit, tried to get the grenade to hit the floor in front of the ads, and it just made it a little bit easier to to get, them, get the shots into the proximity, as you can see there. Uh, once you've cleared these ads... You'll have, you should have an absolute bundle of ammunition sitting down below on the floor. So you just get down here, replenish your ammunition. And now down to our right, you'll see me look down there. There's a barrier and an unstoppable down there as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to mark the barrier, which stops the unstoppable as well. We'll put one heavy and then we'll break the shield. And then we're just going to put a heap of heavy down. You see... The grenade launcher does great damage, and then the the where well, well, energy grenade launcher just finishes them off. And with this unstoppable, you see, I, I, I marked them. I uh, I marked them, and then and then put a couple of heavy on. wasn't wasn't a big deal. Now I'm trying. To, I can see I've got a heavy brick down there. I'm trying to save. I'm trying to save my uh, my heavy because we're going to need it. Because match game's on, which is one of the modifiers. You'll see the modifiers when you go in uh, match game. 
it, it, it obviously is a is a master is a master modifier. You do not have a mini map, which is uh, always good. I don't really bother when the mini map's not there because I've got an idea of where the ads are. I try not to push into situations where I could get really kind of come unstuck. Now, once you've cleared that area and you move into here, you're going to have a barrier. So what we're going to do is mark the barrier. And then just make sure we break his shield while he's marked. So, we never hit him with a direct hit. But, even because we marked him. Now, you'll see there the heavy grenade launcher marks him as well. Because, Breach and Clear works with all grenade launchers. But, because I never hit him with a direct hit, I didn't mark him. So, the heavy grenade launcher done that for me. So what we're going to do here is there, there are two of the heavy duty ads down here. There's the gladiators. That, I tell you, that the health they've got much, much more, uh, much more than just your average red bar, I think. So what we're going to do is just kind of try and hit them with a couple, couple of shots and then... And then move down. Now, when we go down, once we take out, we just make sure that... I think he was hiding right at the corner. He still is here. There we go. Once we take them out, we've got a, f a few little little ads kind of on our way down. But... Uh, the big ads that we're going to be facing are right at the bottom. Uh, we've, got an uns we've got two barriers... And an unstoppable bungee really kind of goes a bit overboard with on masters where they, it's literally just like champion after champion after champion oh there's not enough room for to have separate champions all over the place right we'll just put three in one little area so there's like three barriers here so this wasn't a great spot for me to actually attack because they they started bunching up as you can see there and i ended up taking a bit more damage here than than i was happy with so see there I'm just gonna break the shield but the sniper the, the sniper hobgoblins are the worst maybe but you'll see here I get the stop on the unstoppable and I missed my crit the crit is a one hit on the unstoppables if you've marked the unstoppable it's a one hit so now I'm just gonna try and just finish them off as I say when you stop when you stop a champion uh, with the breach and clear, and the disruption break seems to work, even though it says about shields, kind of seems to work if you if you stop a champion. So one more champion left, and then we're going to move down. When we move down, we are going to have a barrier uh, in this area, but we're also going to have two kind of arc shielded bosses. Just keep them marked. Uh, but because my truth teller has auto load and holster, I'm kind of, I kind of wait to get, wait for it to load in the holster. So I'm just going to check for some ammo. I'm not going to take out these these little ads, as as I've already said. I've done this, I've done this first on stream. Uh, and I used a a little bit of a different loadout. Uh, and the next time I came in is this run. This was my second run. I completed it the first time. Second one, this one's a little bit more efficient. I used, I think the first time I used salvage a salvo and a void rocket launcher, but there's too many, there is a lot more void to deal with and you don't really want to be expelling all of your heavy just trying to take down shielded ads. Even though the red bar, it was just time consuming. I think, I think this runs about half an hour and I think the other, my other run was... I think 35 minutes and, and it was literally it was literally because of ages standing shooting void shields with this scout rifle uh, so we're get, just going to fire through here we want the great thing about the truth teller is obviously I've got blinding needs I can switch it to spike needs this is this is why I keep I kept this one because it had both and even though the shields even though these ads are shielded with arc, you can still blind them with a void grenade launcher. And you'll see. There we go. Once once we get marked. 
the Void Grenade Launcher, the, the Truth Teller does a heap of damage. Unfortunately, I missed that shot and he just started regenerating straight away. Because he's moving and he's blinded, you kind of have to lead your shots a little bit. That's what I wasn't doing with the first couple. I was firing at his location, but he was just moving away from it. So I always come here and then to, to, to take take this one out. You see there, I've marked as a barrier appeared in the center. Once, he, once his barrier goes down, bang, super. Now, I actually expect that to do a lot more damage because it obviously was a critical, said it was a critical hit. It maybe wasn't because he was side on. So once you mark the champions, they're very, very easy to take down. Now what I'm going to do is just, it, energy ammo is very easy to come by, uh, a lot a lot easier than heavy, and just use everything in my kind of inve my, my inventory to try and, uh, try and conserve ammunition, especially heavy. Now, the version of Golden Gun that I'm using, right? The version of Golden Gun that I'm using, which I believe, I always get them mixed up. I believe I am using Bottom Tree. Has a perk called uh, Practice Makes Perfect. So you enter a trance with each precision hit, reducing the cooldown of your Golden Gun. Basically, you'll see it there, Practice Makes Perfect, I've got times five. The more precision hit kills I get, and the more the faster I get my super bike. If you look at the super bar when I'm getting precision hits, and and the more the, the more more of that stack you've got when you pop your super, the more damage it does. Very easy, just just melting them down, and as you can see, it's now gone. So. I'm going to have my super anyway. If I was to get precision hits uh, and build it back up, it would do a ton more damage. But, I, I mean, I was quite surprised with that last golden gun on the barrier here. Because normally, it just, uh, just melts them. So I'm just marking this legionary. You see there, he's got nothing left. I have got a ton of heavy, which is good. But... You want to be finishing this strike with as much heavy as you can get. And there's my font, so we get charged for light with that. Now, it's not a matching font, so I didn't get the times two. I believe that's the way that works. So, I'll just throw a grenade, break this barrier, break this uh, enemy shield, and just finish him off. Now, when we go across this teleporter, you see, there we go, charge for light times two. When we go across here, we're going to have an unstoppable. A little bit, a little... See here, I've not got my grenade launcher out. The reason I never had it out is because uh, that's what it should do. You see that precision hit? Uh, it should finish straight away. The reason why I didn't have my truth teller out when I was coming over is because the, the unstoppable shot from your grenade launcher, you see there, you only get a couple of seconds of it. So don't pull it out until you until you actually need to use it. So I always drop down here. This this can be a little bit of a tricky section. The truth teller does make it a little bit easier. Uh, but you are going to get pushed with two of these. So you want to try and keep them uh, as, as best as possible. You do want to keep them uh, suppressed. So very easy. A couple of those. But I did not expect the barrier there. Right, so what we want to do is, now that he's pushed us, we just want to mark him. Uh, we'll, we'll put his barrier up straight away. We'll break him, and then I'm just going to... One more energy, and then just melt him with heavy. And there we go. So, cleared this area. Now we've got to start it to get the teleporters to charge up. Once you do that, you are going to get an unstoppable and just some normal ads. So what we want to do... As you want to stop the unstoppable quickly and then just melt them with heavy. He is the he is the enemy we need to get down to start with. Because you're gonna you're gonna be overrun here with dogs pretty soon. So I've cleared all the ads. 
There is one more as you've seen him jump into the left. Now what we need to do is just... And what I could have done... What I could have done... Is uh, I could have got them all near an exploding barrel and exploded the barrel. But luckily, they all bunched up quite nicely. Be careful of your position when you're running around trying to get these dogs to kind of bunch up. Because you, the last thing you want to do is run into a pod. But as you can see, I'm managing to hit them. If you can get a direct hit on a dog, you will kill everything around the dog. And it stops the bounce. So a direct hits on the dog are where you want to go. Once you've got, as you can see, this is the third wave of dogs. Now we've got this arc, arc guy out here. He did give me a little bit of a scare. Just suppress this dog here. He did give me a little bit of a scare because I did not expect him to come in that direction. Now he's just, I've got him into, you can get him into basically melee mode. Now, now we've got him because we, we've, we've stopped him. Uh, we've suppressed them with a grenade. Very easy once you do that. If you can suppress them with your truth teller, it, it works on just about all the ads. It, it, does, it doesn't suppress champions or bosses, but it does suppress just about every other ad. So, we're heading towards kind of the last section of this. So, a lot of void here. There is an unstoppable. There's a couple of unstoppables before we get to the, the drills. So, but there's these void guys. This is why I chose the truth teller. Because, to be fair, the truth teller just destroys these. You see I'm using heavy. A mixture of heavy and special. And we're just going to clear out these ads. There's some snipers up to the right. And then we're going to move down the platforms. Once you get down the platforms after obviously taking these snipers out. You're going to be confronted with some incendiaries. An unstoppable. And sometimes there's like a void enemy down here now i'm saying sometimes because i have no clue where he went he was here i'm pretty sure he was here i think i might have killed him and didn't realize it but you'll see the unstoppable over on the left hand corner next to the phalanx now there's the void the void uh the void guy i'm just looking yep there he is must have killed him. Maybe, maybe the explosion. Maybe, maybe the explosion from, from the shot. Uh, maybe it walked off the edge because he'd been blinded or something. But now all that's left, because we've took the incendiaries, we've took the the phalanxes and that blood guard. It's just the unstoppable. So again, stop him with the grenade launcher, golden gun. Easy money. And that's it. That's that's all the enemies here now. We're going to have <laughs> three more barrier champions uh, at the drills. But the first one's the most dangerous because there are Scions. And if the Scions hit you, they avoid attack. It's the same as in uh, Insight Terminus. They avoid attack if you run through the 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 fire, the void fire. It's, it just, it just, it's just going to melt you. So, what we're going to do is wait for them to come out. As you can see, I, I, I broke, the, broke the the barrel. And there's the first. This is the barrier that's going to be the biggest problem because he's right in our sights. So, we'll break his shield. I'm going to keep marking him. And then just try and finish him with some heavy. If I can, break his shield again. There you go. He's the only one that's really difficult. He's the only issue. Now, the other two uh, hobgoblins, they're, they're not the sniper type, so they're going to be quite easy to deal with. So, we're just going to finish off any kind of trash ads. You'll see here, there's, there's a bit of a build-up of ads over here. That's where your two hobgoblins are. So, we're just going to try and get one marked. You can see there, it reloads my scout rifle. I don't really want to use too many heavy bricks, because I don't have any. Uh... So, literally what I'm doing here is, uh, is I'm just whittling these ads down. I don't want to use my super if I, if I can get away with it. And we're hoping to get some heavy bricks here. We've got to watch out for these drills because they do obstruct our view on, on these champions. There we go, got another 
stall point and another mark on him. Should be able to finish him here. There you go. And now we're left with that. And we can see we've got a heavy brick. You know what I'll do once I take this champion out is I'll kill. There's a, there's a couple of dogs just in front of you. Just below, there's a couple of dogs. So we've got to be careful of those as well when we when we cross over. Uh, there's a couple of phalanxes. But as you can see, it's it's actually quite relaxed. You've got to be careful when you're firing these greens. You've probably seen there. You've got to be careful when you're firing them because... Uh, I say careful. You've got to make sure you, you give them... It's the depth, it's the range you've got to be careful with with these grenades. So, so if you're doing that, and I'm... I'm I'm holding it to explode too quickly. So it's not travelling the full distance before it's actually getting. See there, there's the dogs. I'll just put a grenade on. That will help melt them. And thank you very much, Drill. So we know we've got dogs. We know we've got phalanxes. You see there, I've got heavy. I've got special. I've got everything lying about, which is good, especially for the boss. We want to take care of any ads that are going to shoot us. So phalanxes... There we go, we've got another heavy brick. So what I'm going to... I know I've got dogs below me. I'll run up here. There's a dog hiding in there. So I'm just going to turn and just use the scout just to... Just to kind of stop them. We've got another heavy brick. So we should be good for heavy. We can get some special, be good. And that's us at the boss. So, so the kind of the way I'm going to do the boss is... Roughly the same way I've been doing everything else. I'm going to mark the boss... And I'm going to hit him with some shots. Uh, I think in this run I do end up taking out all the ads at the bottom. Which is fine. It's not no big deal. And you'll see the way that I actually kill the boss. That you don't have to take out all the ads. But, but I decided to. Because if you've got your golden gun, which you should have. Uh, I think I've done it to get my super actually. Yeah, because I used my golden gun up here. So when you drop down, you're going to have these arc shielded harpies. Uh, you can keep once once you uh, break their shields, you can keep their shields broke by. As you can see, they're switching between damages. Now I've got clone cartridge, so I've got six in the mag. I've marked them, hit them with a the big big hit, and then I'm just going to put a heap of heavy on them, take them down to half health. And then he runs away. So, that's fine. Now, now, what I do when we get to the second section, because he will be immune for a section. This is only a couple of seconds. What I do here is I put my grenade on the platform. Now, what happens is the grenade lets me know when he's when he's actively taking damage. You see there? Now he is. So, I'm just going to mark him again. And he's immune. So we've got five heavy. Don't have our supper because we used it. But we'll get it at the bottom here. And I'll just bring him down a bit more with the truth teller. See, that's it's, it's that making sure that you let the grenade travel the correct distance. So that you actually hit something. Throw a knife to finish. Now... The boss has only got one. He's obviously going to be shooting at you, but he's got he's got an attack, right? And it's a blind. He's got his own blinding attack. You see there, he's what he doesn't change his where he's going to fire. He doesn't change that. So, whatever he aims at, wherever you see him aim at, that's where he's going to fire. So now I'm just going to clear up some enemies, try and get my super back. You see there we've got harpies, that's what I'm... And, and he, sometimes he does that. Doesn't do it a lot. Uh, sometimes he walks right across the center. And if he does that, you just, you, you've just you got to be very mindful of, of, of your position. Now you'll see there, that was, that was his big attack, right? I'm just going up here to pick up some ammo. That was his big attack. His, because it... It does a lot of damage when it hits, but it completely blinds you. If he's going to fire at that corner, just back away from the corner. You'll be fine. 
and just use my heavy to just take care of harpies, grenade launcher, stun those guys. So that's the that's the first wave of ads. You get two waves. So I'll just mark them again. You get them to move. There's still, there's still a goblin out there. I can see I've got special. Just try to... Uh, uh, I don't want to get into a position where I'm going to have to finish them quickly. Uh, just yet. Although, I probably could have. So here's my second wave. Just throw my grenade out there and see who it can, what it can take care of. Who it can take care of. And I'll just try and whittle some of these ads. Now... I think maybe here I got a little bit zealous. I think I might have been blinded once, once or twice. And just that should that should take care of a couple of those. Grenade launcher is always good for taking care of these trash mobs. And just drop one over the back there. It takes care of the harpy. And another one will take care of both of those. That's where I got blinded because I was so focused on the enemy. But because my positioning was good, it, it wasn't really a big issue. Now I've got my super. There are some ads here and maybe didn't need to take them. So I'll just, when he's firing, I'm changing position. That's the way you should do it. And we're just going to finish these last couple of enemies. And then I'm just going to literally mark him. You'll see how much damage the golden gun does. I'm literally going to mark him. And... Mark him and just finish him with a golden gun. He won't go... He's got a headless state that he gets into here. And he's not going to get into it. Because we're not going to allow it. So I'm just making sure I'm reloaded. Pop. So I could have done that a while ago. And you see the rewards you get. And this is just double Nightfall rewards. From Friday Reset, from Today Reset, it's going to be double Platinums. So there's a chance of, you know, double what I just got there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope this helps you guys farm if you're looking for a decent plug one or you just want some free exotics and some Ascendant Shards. And I will leave a link in the description to my stream channel. Hope to see you guys check in and see me work stuff like this out live. Take it easy, and I will see you in the next video.